Hello everyone, this is Raymond of Raymond's Dental Solutions. Today, I want to tell you about dentists and stress. Numerous studies and papers have shown that dentists face a wide variety of physical and mental problems due to stress at work. These problems range from small problems such as ulcers and eye strains to cancer, heart disease, renal disease, alcoholism, drug addiction, marital problems leading to suicide. Statistics says 82.7% of dentists experienced moderate or severe stress. Stress-related cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death among dentists. The frequency of emotional illness among dentists is higher than that of general population, and the incidence of psychoneurological diseases is 2.5 times higher than that of general physicians. So, what causes this stress? We can say so many reasons. Working environment is confined spaces. Let's think of dentist workplace, human mouth. The average of mouth size is 2 inches, 50 millimeter. A tennis ball is 2.57 inches, 65 millimeter. Our mouth size is smaller than a tennis ball. A work environment that has to handle very complex and extremely meticulous work in a confined space smaller than a tennis ball is enough to create a lot of stress. Working for a long time in such a work environment itself can cause many physical and mental diseases. Many dentists seem to be living under financial pressure. They have to pay the loan and to solve the ever-increasing office overhead expenses. So, naturally, their schedules are tightly managed. However, these busy schedules cause chronic stress and often go unnoticed until burnout is reached. In addition, since dentists have been trained to continuously pursue perfection from dental school, this becomes an important factor providing stress to dentists considering the increasingly competitive environment. However, in reality, when the actual treatment does not proceed perfectly due to the patient's financial situation in the dental field, and they have no choice but to do the business of fix and repair, their stress is further aggravated. Many dentists experience a lot of stress due to lack of cooperation or communication with staff. Therefore, difficulties such as frequent change of staff and the need to newly educate them every time the staff changes are repeated. What about dental patients? Basically, they are very anxious and fearful in a dental office. From the dentist's point of view, having to take care of patients with such a wide range of fears is a natural factor that adds to the dentist's physical and mental stress. What if the dentist is overly meticulous or too much dependent on personal achievement or reputation, or over-conscientious or too much controlling her or his emotions? What if the dentist has an unrealistic expectation on herself or himself and others? In these cases, 
it is natural for their stress to increase further. Now, let me think of the remedies of this dental stress. We can improve the working environment at the dental office. We can do exercise or meditation for relieving the stress. Some dentists can go shopping or get a massage while others play games or enjoy sports. Sharing problems with fellow practitioners will be helpful. Spending time together with staff as a team through group lunches and family get-togethers can improve communication and motivate the staff. Going on vacation when stress hits you can be a good help. Learning how to better handle patient anxiety and hostility is also a good remedy. When all these remedies are put together, none of them can solve those stress or problems perfectly. So, I would like to propose a more fundamental countermeasure here. Most fundamentally, it seems important for any dentist to realize that it is very difficult to run a stress-free business on his own. Because it's hard on your own, you have to play as a team with your fellow dentist and staff and with the professionals like us. From now on, I'm going to start our long journey from the stress-free dental business to the highest level of dental business. Next, I'd like to talk about how dentists can change the way they think about business. Thank you so much for your watching.